Hey guys, welcome to another video. As promised, there is another follow-up to the previous video, which was the reserve kind of uncontested loot for a scav run. Um, I did mention at the end of the video that if you weren't full, there is another route that I do follow. I'm not saying it's unheard of loot. I'm not saying it's loot that everyone misses. I'm just saying the majority of the time that I go to these places, there is always loot. And it's just easy, quick money. Let's jump straight into it. I'll show you what it is. Hopefully it helps you out as well. And then we move on to the next map. Let me know in the comments which map you would want to be next. Okay, so this is kind of perfect. Um, this is kind of the other side of the run. Um, so the last video, if you haven't seen it, go and check it out. But in the last video, we ended towards heating pipe. Now, other parts of the uh, reserve that I usually go to is underneath school. Uh, all around any school and then I would run towards the hermetic or heat and pipe We do have heat and pipe so that's nice and easy Let's see if we can find some loot quick and easy. These are meant to be quick runs without having to fight your way through things So let's try it As we go through I will tell you if there are going to be toolbox spawns or any particular spawns that you can see so there's uh, loose spawns all around here. A toolbox can spawn there. Toolbox here. In here, you can have toolboxes all around. Uh, you also can have weapon parts. Never know what ammo you might find. I use this side of reserve to, you know, fill up the bag and there are a chance to find some pretty decent items around here, especially with the amount of duffel bags that we're going to run into or hopefully run into. So there's duffel bags and weapon boxes in this building. Sorry, in this room. Several weapon boxes. One can also spawn here. Now what we tend to usually do is run all the way to the end. And in this end room, there is a jacket and spawn potential spawns for two duffel bags. So there's a duffel bag that spawns there, and there's one that spawns here. And we just got RBOB. In this room, there can be several, uh, several duffel bags. Ignore the MP9 that we just heard. Now we run all the way to the end. We try and stay away from the bunker. Because as you can hear, people are just constantly fighting down there. We've got duffel bags in here and loose loot on the shelves. Uh, ammo and food can spawn on that crate. And then you've got a ration crate here. I am already full. So you can see this is a good place to just fill up those last little bits. Uh, you also have toolbox, ration crate, ration crate, toolbox. Uh, toolbox, 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 ration crate, toolbox, and toolbox spawns. Uh, so there are several uh, different areas to loot. I also go up here, check inside the kitchen. You have food spawns on these shelves. Uh, more food spawns on the table. Food spawns on these shelves. You have two jackets and a loose loot. Food spawns here. An AK can spawn here. And then you've got the dead scav body as well. Got some AP20 and some sprats. Okay, nothing great. Now, 
I would run to the BMP and then to the blue shack or the, the shack by the blue fence. Either side of this uh, BMP is potential spawns for ammo and meds. So either side there is ammo and then you can have a loose med spawn here. Which means it could be very rare but you could get a Ladex from there. It could be a Ladex. I mean it's a med spawn. Come in here, there's a grenade box. If you want to take your time, there's a filing cabinet right in front of me. I tend to stay away from them. I'd rather quick and easy scav runs. You have ammo, US ammo. And then as I'm running this way, you have a toolbox, uh, ammo spawns on the box and in the car. All toolbox toolboxes can spawn here. And then I get out. So it depends which side you spawn. If you spawn that side, you can quickly run through here, do all the duffels, do all the tech crates. And then you can do Hermetic and the run that we did on the last video. Oh, there's a motor. And if you're full, you can get out. If you're not full, you can continue the run, try and find some more stuff. And then hopefully either get out here or the Hermetic under the tower. That was six minutes. Let's see what we're in. Well, I'm just going to sell all this to Fence and we'll see what we can make from the little bit of loot that we got. As I say, it's a bit of an overflow run. Okay, so I've sold everything. I've kept the 300 Black Air AP. I have also kept the labs card and the, uh, the grenade. Uh, so if I wanted to sell this, this would be another, you know, let's just say a 150. That would have been a nice cool uh, 1 million just from a six minute scav run. So it's pretty easy. Obviously, I got pretty lucky. I did find the RBOB key, which uh, sells for about 300k. Um, but for six minutes, 900k. Even if we didn't uh, sell the key or even if we didn't get the key, that would have been about 600, 650k. Maybe even seven if you wanted to sell the labs card. So 700k in six minutes, you can't really argue. Hopefully this video has helped you or to finalize the run that I do. Now, if you just wanted to make some money, that this is the easiest run that I can think of. Um, you've obviously got the, the loot and shoreline that we've done previously. Uh, that's for PMC or scav. Obviously, if you go as a scav, it could be later. Sometimes you're going to find that, that it has been looted. Very rarely, because obviously everyone goes to resort. Uh, but for a scav, this has got to be the easiest. You can you can make a lot of money on streets, by all means. But you're always bumping into other scavs. Or the BTR shoots you out of nowhere because it hates you. Uh, or there's PMCs still there within 40, like 20 minutes left of the raid. Uh, that... If, if if you want to get ammo or if you want to get certain items, then there are different runs on reserve. If there is a kind of run that you'd want me to kind of showcase or something that you need to learn, let me know down in the comments, regardless of what map. We'll try and research it on stream. That's what we do. And then I will make the video for you guys. But hopefully this one helped you. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.